All right then, so now we know a lot of the basic built-in types and how to use those types with functions as well. Now I want to talk about a special type in TypeScript called the any type. And the any type basically means that whatever variable has that type can take on any type in the future and its type can change. So for example, I can make a variable called age and set the type of this variable to be any. And that means in the future, this variable can be any value of any type. So I could say down here, age is equal to 30, and that would be absolutely fine. And then later, if I wanted to, I could also say that age is now equal to false instead, a Boolean, which is also fine because we're using that any type to say this variable can always have any type it wants. So you can think of the any type as like a cheat card, <laughs> I guess, as like almost a way to revert back to JavaScript where a variable can take on any type of value interchangeably in the future. And if that's the case, then using the any type is almost like ripping the beating heart out of TypeScript itself. And if you're using it often, then you're not really going to see the benefits of using TypeScript in your code because you're not going to get good error feedback when something is wrong. So for example, I have this age variable. If it should be a number, then we should declare it as a number. If we declare it as any type, then TypeScript doesn't really know that this should be a number. So we're not going to get good code hints or code completion from VS Code because TypeScript has no idea what the exact type is that you're using. And you'll most likely get more bugs at runtime. So although at first the anytime might seem like a cheap way to apply a little bit of flexibility in your code, it comes at a big cost. Anyway, I've got that little run out of the way now. So let's look at some more examples of using this any type. So another way that a variable gets the type of any is if we declare a variable like title, for example, but then we don't give it a value and we don't say what type it's going to be. And then automatically it's going to give this a type of any. Okay. So now I could come down here and say that title was equal to a number like 25 and that would be fine. I could also say that title would be equal to an object and we're going to have a property called hello, really random. And then the value is world. So uh, this works as well because title can have any type. All right. All right, so we can also use the any type inside arrays. So I could say let things equal to some kind of array, and then I'm going to type this. So colon after things, and then any, and then square brackets. So before we did something like this, number or string, and then square brackets, and that meant that only numbers or strings, whatever type we declared, can go in those square brackets. When we say any, it means that any type can go in this array. So I could say hello right here. I could also say true. I could also add a number, so 30. I could add null if I wanted to. Any type can go inside this array, all right? Then also, if I wanted to push something else onto the array, I would say things.push, and then it could be any value. I could push on an object if I wanted to with an ID property of one, two, three. That would be fine because there can be any type inside this array, all right? So let's also have a look at functions using the any type as well. So I'm going to create a new function. We'll say function. It's going to be called add together and it's going to take in a value which could be of type any. So we could pass in a Boolean. We could pass in number. We could pass in a string, whatever you want, because the value is of any type. It's also going to return a type of any as well. And then inside here, all we're going to do is return value plus value like so. All right. So I could pass in a string right here. I could say const result one is equal to add together and then pass in a string, which is hello. Now, when we add two strings together, it's going to concatenate them. So it would be hello, hello, the result. I could do const result two and set that equal to add together and then pass in a number three. When we add two numbers, it's going to be six, the result. So the type of this would be a string. The type of this would be a number. However, because we used any right here and we're returning the any type, TypeScript doesn't know about what types we're passing in or what type should be returned. So if I hover over result one, you can see, well, it's just going to be any. Result two is going to be any as well. So basically, it's taken away the power of TypeScript because it's not going to be able to give us any good error feedback if we try to do something with this value later on that we shouldn't be doing. All right. So there is one useful case for any, in my opinion, maybe there's some edge cases as well, but one useful case would be when you're migrating a project from JavaScript 
to TypeScript because if you're starting to add types to things, then that can all of a sudden give you loads of errors in your code. And it can be quite awkward to go through all of them one at a time and try and correct everything, adding types. So to begin with, you could add any types for your data. That's not gonna cause any errors because essentially it's behaving the same way as JavaScript then. And then gradually you could add specific types to your values. So that is one use case of using any. But generally speaking, I try to steer clear because it does rip out all the benefits from TypeScript.